How's it going lads? It's your boy Brycey here today again, your friendly neighbourhood shotgunner, bringing you an insane and a ludicrous 28 and 2 in 5 rounds, search and rescue, the destruction, the highest scoring, killing, destructioning game in Call of Duty goes so far I think, and with my favourite gun in the game, and probably my top 3 favourite guns of Call of Duty, the Bulldog or the Goat Dog, as I've named it, it's so fun to use this gun, man. It just rapes all kinds of face, and it's just a good time. It's the best shotgun in the game by far, just because you can spam it and it does good damage. And, yeah, the MTS, I've been trying to get a gameplay with that thing. I fucking hate that gun at the minute. It's so poor. It's like, every time I'm using it, I'm like, why am I not using the Bulldog? It's better in every scenario. But, yeah, that's another story for another time when I finally do get an MTS gameplay. But I've got gameplays with all the two other shotguns, so look forward to those. They're not as high. One of them's fairly high scoring, the other one's not so much, but it's for us. For, 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 for all us. Anyway, yeah, this map is actually one of my favourites in this game. A lot of people don't like it. I was talking to Spec Ops on, it, on Twitter about it even, and he says he doesn't like it. And I really like it just because I can use shotguns and poo on kids. And there's like four or five maps that I like in this game, and the rest I leave if they even come up in the lobby. And I really just leave so many games, it's not it's not even funny. <laughs> like if I die in a game, I'm just like, right, fuck you. Uh, if I see an MSBS in the game, I'm like, right, I am not playing this lobby. Because the MSBS is just like the MP40 of Call of Duty Ghosts. And MP40 in World at War was just, if you didn't know, like ridiculously overpowered. And... The it's MSBS is just like the best gun for every class. It's like better than all the marksman rifles, better than all the assault rifles, better than all the SMGs, and better than all the shotguns. And that kid tries to fucking goat dog me. You sir are not the, the king of the goat dogs, and so he gets the D stain. And the pistol I pick up is absolute trash. There's literally no damage, and I would not recommend it. It's the MP44 Garak or something or other, something German. Do not use that gun. Absolute trash. P226 and the M9A1, A-OK, -okay. and the Magnum if you feel like being a genuine boss. I like the Magnum Akimbos, they're just so poor, they're good. Which is one thing I like about guns, like in Call of Duty, I like the guns that are shit, but kind of good at the same time. Like the Magnums are really good if you are if you hit both shots and it's like a one shot kill basically. But if you miss or they just randomly don't hit, then you die. And I like that in the gun kind of inconsistency, it gives the guns a bit of character. That's why my favourite guns are past. My two top two favourite guns in this series are the Model 3 model and the Model 3 AA12 because the AA12, well, I've got like 10,000 kills with it in Model 3, and then the model is just awesome because you can snipe people with it and then you'll get like, you'll be two feet in front of someone and then that's an instant hit marker and then you'll get knifed and then you'll be so mad. But I don't know, I like the frustrating guns to use just because people don't use them. And I'm a hardcore OG hipster with some mad swag. And look at these kids trying to fucking trick shot me. And no, sir. That, th this gun shoots fast, but it does no damage. And the Maniac suit. Oh my god. I fucking love this kill streak. I just like, gen in general, knifing people in this game. It's probably one of my favourite things to do, actually. Like, not even, like, running around with a knife. Just, like, if I'm... If there's one dude last alive and I'm playing with friends, I'm like, right, I'm going to stab him, and then I'll just knife, try and knife him, even if I'm like kind of on a gameplay. And I'll just try and knife him anyway, just because it's funny. And the knife is really OP in this game. But it doesn't frustrate me as much, well, it does when I play free fall, but I don't get panic knife too much in Search and Rescue or Search and Destroy, but the Maniac Suit is basically the god of knifing, because you get throwing knives, and you're basically invincible. Although I did get a game where I actually died in there. Maniac suit, which I was kind of embarrassed about. Failed a 14 and 0 in four rounds, but luckily I pulled it back for a sweet gameplay, which you'll be seeing shortly, even though it's on this map as well, with the uh, Mark 12, I believe. But I'm awful with throwing knives as well. <laughs> Look at that, it's such a bad miss. And these kids right here are just trying to hide from me. I'm just like, no, you can't hide from the goat man. You can run, but you can't hide. Although one guy does actually run and hide fairly successfully, and <laughs> I don't get to kill him. Otherwise, it would have been an ace, which is kind of frustrating. So I get this dude here, and I'm going to cut this round out, because I can't find the last dude, because he has that swag emblem, which means he's basically invisible on the map, and it was just... It was annoying. Maybe if I got him, I could have dropped a 30 bomb, which would have been awesome, especially kind of in the first fortnight of this game's release. But 
Trinity Rockets are another great kill streak. I definitely recommend for Search and Rescue and Search and Destroy. They can be kind of fiddly to use, but see here, I'm just like, right, thread through, double kill, I will take that. I was happy that when that happened, and here I'm 17-0, and, and I know there's a sniper up there, but I'm just like, fuck it, YOLO. Just charge across the map, I'm like, yes, I've made it, and I get sniped in the calf. Watch this, calf. Bullshit. I reckon in real life, if you shot me in the calf, I wouldn't die if I had, like, medical assistance and all that crap, right, like, ready to go, because it would just... It's just flesh there really, it's nothing vital, and here I make the mistake, I get picked up, my teammate was being an OG champ, and I actually yeah, sent him a friend request after this game, so we had a little conversation, but I made the mistake of challenging a Magnum with long barrel, and look at that, one shot headshot on my teammate who tried to drop shot him with a leper, he kind of got pooed on there, but one thing that made this game possible was Ghost's poor, poor matchmaking, as you'll see, for like the last two or three rounds, it's 2v6 or 2v5, I'm not 100% sure. But um, yeah, that really needs to be fixed because you get into games, you're like 5 0 first round, you're like, fuck yeah, let's gameplay, bitches. And then, oh look, I'm playing against two other people, and then they leave, and then you just like, fuck, cut yourself into the dashboard. And uh, that is a nice rush if you know they're all going to go up to that little top bit. Just sit in the corner, wait, and here I'm clutching it because my teammates died. Ping is awesome. Show me where they are, and they've also got an attack chopper up, which. I think I might start using him because the attack dog is just fucking useless. It never gets many kills. I've named it Samantha, which was probably a mistake because if you've seen the film that an Alsatian called Samantha in, that's that Samantha. An Alsatian that's called Samantha. I don't. I can't even speak anymore. I've done this commentary like four times. Fuck it. I'm not doing it again. The gameplay's wrapping up. My dog's called Samantha. Get the reference. Leave it in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some more videos, I've left two in the kind of end bit of the video like some kind of hardcore YouTube tryhard. On the left is a 16-1 in 6 rounds with the FP6 shotgun on prison break in search and destroy, not search and rescue. And then on the right is a 20-2 in, in 6 rounds as well with the USR sniping like a bad kid and I'm going to pick the final two dudes off with this M9A1 pistol which is A-OK. -okay. Get pistol whip, motherfucker. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed Wob Wob. Goodbye.